Hi everyone, welcome to episode 27 of Misty Dang Ninja Podcast. I am your host, Abigail Wright. I can be found on Instagram as Abigail.Wright. I can also be found uh, on Ravelry as I'm a Knitting Ninja. Um, and we do have a Ravelry group under Nifty Knitting Ninja Podcast, so if you would like to come over and join us, please do. Um, I've been trying to get the group a lot more active, so... Uh, if you want to go and leave me a comment or participate, we are having a knit along this month, which I will talk about later. Um, or just, you know, PM me. I mean, anything. I'm really trying to get the group more active, so please come interact with me because right now I'm just talking to a camera and kind of feeling a little bit alone out here. Um, so... Yeah, and if you have any questions or comments that you want to make about this podcast, you can also leave them in the Ravelry group, or you can email me at niftyabettingninja at gmail.com. Um, so yeah, we'll get started. I'm sorry if my voice isn't as loud as it usually is, or if it's a little groggly. I have my brother's flu. So, my stomach's been upset, I've had a really bad headache. Uh, my sinuses are acting up, and currently I feel majorly hot because I'm running like a hundred degree fever. Um, but don't worry, don't worry, I'm fine. I know that a lot of you are probably saying, well then why are you podcasting? You should probably be resting. And I probably should, but I'm fine. I, uh, I got my water here with me, so... When I'm sick, I usually like to have warm tea, but since my fever is so high, I decided for cool water instead. Um, but yeah, I will stop being a chatterbox and I will get on with this episode. Uh, first off, I want to give a shout out to a couple new RAV members, because uh, do you know how long it's been since I've had new members in the Ravelry group? Forever. So, uh, I want to give a shout out to... Darkefka? Is that how you say it? Get in touch with me and let me know how you say your Raverly name. Um, but this particular Raverly user is uh, also a user, a uh, watcher here on YouTube, um, which I guess, correct term is viewer, sorry. Uh, but it's Kevin Hardesty. Kevin, I really want to thank you because you're the one who leaves comments on my videos. Uh, you interact with me, you chat with me, uh, basically you're the only one, so I know that I'm not alone, and I know that somebody is watching and enjoys it, uh, besides my fiancé and my family, so thank you, thank you, Kevin. Um, the other Raverly member that we have that's new is Sugar Loves Me, um, and yeah, if you would like to participate in the group, which I'm really trying to get more active, uh, just head on over to Ravelry and look up uh, Nifty Knitting Ninja Podcast, and I will, I'm sure, put it down here a few times, somewhere down there. Um, <laughs> but YouTube shoutouts this week goes to Andrea Brooks. Bru I'm sorry, I don't know how to say your last name. Uh, Tanya Hunt, Scrappin' for Seven, and Donnie Pie. Thank you so much guys for subscribing. For those of you returning, thank you so much for coming back to watch me. And uh, for those of you who are new viewers, welcome and I hope that you enjoy it. Alright, let's talk knitting because it's a knitting podcast. In this bag, this is the first project that I bag that I ever made myself. I stuffed a ton of projects in it, so it's a little messy right now. First up, I'm going to show... Oh my gosh, it's a mess. No, I'm not going to show you a mess. Uh, I'm going to show you my Lacey Hitchhiker. Which, the last time that I showed you guys, I think I was right there. On that green stripe. And the colors aren't showing up quite true. They're really bright, bright. And this little stitch marker here, which way does it go? It goes that way. Wow, this is really blowing out the camera. But I'm, I want to show you this little stitch marker that I made. A little birdhouse with a bird on top. 
Oh, wow. I'm sorry, guys. That just is really blowing out the camera. It still is brighter in person, but I got that far. That's... The, this is shameful. In two weeks, one or two weeks, I only did the brown stripe. Shameful. But this is being worked on a US-2, which is a 2.75 millimeter. And it's also being worked with um, free sock yarn. I'm sorry, I don't know the name. Uh, but it's in the Rainforest colorway. I showed the ball band last week in case anybody's curious about what it is. I don't like it for socks for this reason. It tangles. So it's, I probably shouldn't have put it in a cake. But it's amazingly soft and squishy and I love it for scarves. This is the Hitchhiker pattern by Martina Bem. It is a paid for pattern so I'm not going to tell you any details. Uh, but this is one modification uh, that I did and as you can see you do uh, you bind off somewhat to make the little points. Um, and so on every bind off row you just do eyelets until you get to the end and yeah, this is the eyelet version of it. And I got this pattern gifted to me on my 20th birthday last year. So um, I started this on my birthday this year. And next up is just because I'm horrible. I have so many projects to finish, but I... I can't help casting on all the things. I want to knit all the things, and it's horrible. I've had cast on itis lately, and it's just awful. I need to really get some of these done, and that's my goal for this month, is to try to finish up some of these projects. Um, but I started a noodle, which got gifted to me on this birthday, um, and it's by Susan Claudino Designs. And here's the body. <laughs> And this is in Premier Yarns, Deborah Norville. She was gonna focus on me. Focus, please. Focus. Okay, well, you can still see it, kind of. And it's in the. E. I don't think this is gonna focus, it keeps washing out the color. Focus. Focus. In the gems colorway. Yay. And this is Serenity Garden yarn. Um, and what I love about this little body of his is see it starts with these colors. And it progresses, progresses, and then it goes reverse. And it ends with those colors. Well, almost those colors. It's got a little bit of pale yellow in there. Uh, but I love that. I'm working on his ears right now. Uh, but I did get his snout done. It's just not so long yet. Look at that. Isn't it cute? <laughs> I'm gonna die of cuteness. By the way, yes, this is a safety eye instead of a safety nose. And it is from uh, 660 Eyes on Etsy. I should have brought the card over here. Sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. When I'm sick, my brain doesn't work. So excuse me, please. Um, but yeah. My sock head hat, no more work done on it. I'm not going to bore you with that. That's what I mean by finishing all these languishing projects. Um, the turn of square hat, not done. Need to finish that. Uh, and this has been languishing. It's super crazy. But I got a little bit of progress on it last night. And this is in the same wool free sock yarn that I showed you for the hitchhiker. Um, and this is the Grand Canyon colorway. I made a pair of socks out of it and I don't like socks, so I decided to make a key fob with it. I'm still working on that. See, I finally got the key ring on there. Uh, these are being worked on a size US2, again a 2.75 millimeter. And I'm hoping to get a lot, bunch more done and um, put up in my shop soon. And honestly, oh, that's disgusting. I had a 
loose piece of skin hanging off my lip. That's really gross, sorry. Um, but I hope to get a bunch more done, put up in my shop, uh, abigailwdesigns at etsy.com. Um, my problem is that they're boring. They don't hold my interest for very long, so thinking about switching up the stitches. I love the look of linen stitch, but I'm thinking about switching up the seed stitch and garter stitch, seeing how that works out a little bit. Um, yeah. And these are socks that I'm knitting for mom. I put the fish lips kiss heel in there. Which is uh, by Socks Therapist, Patty Joy on Raverly. Um, and everybody, if you have not bought this pattern, go buy it. I'm just going to tell you. I'm going to be bossy. Go buy it. Um, because not only is this pattern great, I mean, I don't ever do any other kind of heel now. I just love this. I memorize it. And it's changed the way I've knitted socks. And besides that, you really need to go buy her pattern because uh, Patty Joy, socks therapist, um, has had a very aggressive form of breast cancer, and she's had multiple surgeries and treatments, and not able to do a whole lot. She's very sick, and it's horrible, and it really touches my heart um, because I've had a lot of pain experienced with cancer lately. Which I will talk about a little bit later if I don't get too emotional. Uh, but yeah, she needs all the help that she can get. She's got tremendous medical bills um, that they they don't know how to pay. So I mean, even though the pattern's just a dollar, everybody go and buy it. Go help her out, please. She is an amazing woman. Um, but anyways, this is my mom's sock. This is I showed the ball band last week, I think. Uh, this is the Loopy Use Seasoning Series in the colorway Icicles. It was dyed by Lauren of Laces exclusively for the Loopy U. And I bought this off of Bake One Loop 2 on Instagram. She was having a sale on it. Uh, he's, dash he's dashing, but it's just got a regular toe, toe up. Yeah. And I don't have a lot done on it. I think the last time I talked to you, I had it put in the heel, so the heel's in, and a few more rounds than that, but other than that, it's done. I mean, it's not done, but I... My mom likes long cups, and I just don't want to work on it. And I think it's mainly because I'm going to switch back to magic, magic looping on US 1s, 2.5 millimeters, one and a half, so I'm sorry. Uh, because I got these 9 inch circlers for my birthday. One and a half 9 inch circlers. And I know some people say that they love them and they can just zoom socks on them. I don't like them. I don't love them. I mean, it just cramps my hands and I'm it's not fast and I feel like I'm trying to knit a tiny hat. You know where sometimes you accidentally get into the predicament? Um, or you get to where you de decrease so many stitches on a hat that it's getting hard to move it around the circular. And, um... And you have to just kind of struggle with it. That's how I feel with the sock. So I think I'm going to move back to my Knit Picks Caspian wood. Uh, size 1.5, 32 inch circular. So that I can magic loop and just finish it. Because I love the sock. I was zooming on the sock. I love the sock, but I hate the circulars. So, that's it for, um, for the socks. Yeah, and I have two other projects to show you. See, I told you, knit all the things this week. <laughs> Mainly because I've been really sick and bedridden and, uh, well not bedridden, but my mom's quarantined me in my room so that nobody else will get sick, which I can see that. Um, but this is a custom order that I'm working on and this is in, oh, if you can excuse the crinkling, then I'll grab the ball band. Uh, Knit Picks Wool of the Andy Sport, and the light gray that I'm going to show you is Dove Heather, and the dark gray is Ash. Um, and here is all of the info that comes with that. Get my fingers out of the way. 
It's 100% Peruvian Highland wool, 137 yards, sport weight. And I'm knitting it on a size US 3, which I'm sorry, I forgot the metric ver conversion of this. Um, but it's just a simple one by one red pad. And yes, I did steal my little snowflake stitch marker. Oops. I stole it as a progress keeper because it's a one by one rib hat. It seems like you knit and knit and knit and knit and it never grows. It never gets any longer and I'm supposed to knit eight inches and I think I'm at two. And I've been working on this forever. Uh, but this is a custom order that I got in my Etsy shop and it's actually from my fiance's dad. Uh, he wanted it like this and the colors aren't showing up quite true. It's showing up way lighter than it actually is. Pull it back here a little bit. Well, uh, that's pretty, pretty close to what it is. But um, I'm gonna blow it out again. Hold on. The inside, right here. I'm sorry, my voice is gravelly. The inside right here. I love the inside better than I do the outside. So my plan is, uh, when I get to where I do the dec decreases and it gets smaller and smaller, I'm gonna flip the hat inside out. And I'm going to knit from it this way. So basically, I'm going to finish it from the inside out so that the inside can be on the outside when it's finished. Does that make any sense? I feel like that just didn't make sense. But, um, yeah, that's my plan. And last but not least, uh, do I have the ball band for this? Excuse the crinkling again. I'm going to try to find the ball band my other goodies. This I am knitting in Knit Picks Bear Merino. Merino wool. Let's see if it'll focus on that. There we go. And uh, it's a lace weight. And here's all the information for that. And what I, I am making is I am making my wedding veil. This is it so far. I'm going to try to stretch it out. Ooh, it looks, I like how it looks on camera. Stretch it out a little bit so that you guys can see it. There's this beautiful flower motif up here. And then there's that little section, which I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see that, but it's got beads in it. It's got clear rainbow beads. And I use those instead of nups in the pattern, and I'll talk about those beads here in a minute. This was Clue 1, because this was originally a mystery shawl. And it's a free pattern. Here's Clue 2, this flower section, and then I'm halfway through... One repeat of Clue 3A. There's two charts in, in uh, Clue 3, and I'm halfway through the first one. Uh, I'm supposed to do three repeats of chart 3A. So, but um, the beads that I'm using for it, and I don't have a picture for this on my Instagram page, but I've been trying to keep um, track of all my projects on my Instagram, so all the pro project info will be there. Um, I'm using 10 grams of S23 uh, Clear Rainbow. Don't know if you guys are going to be able to see that. But it's from Fire Mountain Gems, and this was part of my Knit Picks order. I love this. It's beautiful. Hold that up again, because I just... <sighs> When I see it on camera, it's so much more beautiful than whenever I'm knitting on it. Uh, these are being worked on a size US4, which is a 3.5 millimeter. And uh, I made a knit picks over for my birthday. I mean, it hadn't come yet last week, so that's why I didn't show you. Uh, what I also got is because I've never tried it before and I wanted to, I got a, a Euclid trial packet. 
Uh, and this is the lavender scent, and it tells you on the back that is it's a no rinse. So there is everything with that. And I can't wait to see how it smells. And uh, I'm going to make another Knit Picks order because I need more yarn for uh, my father in law's hat. Um, and I'm also going to order some more wool wash. And then I'm going to order a sample packet in a more masculine scent or unscented to wash his hat in because I'm sure that he doesn't want his hat to smell all girly and lavenderish. Um, and also in that order, I got knitting bobbin set. And there's six of them in here. Because I want to master color work this year. I have never been really big into Fair Isle or color work of any kind, and I want to master it this year. Kind of started with the Babble hat. That was really fun. Uh, so I'm excited to try more of it. Excuse me. Hold on just a second. I hate being sick. I hate it. Um, sorry, my screen keeps going off and I have to have it on. I have to have the viewer screen on so that I can see if what I'm showing is right and how it's coming out and yeah. Uh, hmm. So my Etsy shop. Uh, right now I am having a 10% off uh, everything in the store. With the exception of you have to have a minimum of a $5 purchase. And you get 10% off everything from now until va Valentine's Day, February 14th. Uh, Valentine's Day is a love holiday here in the U.S. Um... But yeah, you'll get 10% off everything in the store with a $5 minimum purchase with the code VDAY16. Um, and even though I have a fiancé and I'm getting married, I'm boycotting uh, Valentine's Day this year. I'm not celebrating it because I feel like there's a lot of things to celebrate. Uh, you know, there was Christmas and New Year's and my birthday and his birthday and we're getting married and I feel like there's a lot of stuff to like love you. <laughs> this sounds weird, but there's a lot of stuff to love each other about. I mean, not on a day-to-day -day basis, not just on one day. And there's a lot of um, occasions for us to get stuff for each other and give gifts. So I just don't feel like we need to celebrate Valentine's Day this year because you can love anybody else just as much on any other day of the year. Um, but yeah, that's what's going on there. And then I am trying to work through a couple new designs. I don't know if they're actually going to come out or not, but I'm trying to work on them. So uh, you might see the process of that here in a little bit. Um, and... I'm going to cut off right here and I'll be back in just a second because I forgot a few of uh, my birthday things that I wanted to show you. So hang on a second and I'll be right back. Okay, I am back. Sorry about that. See, I told you when I'm sick, my brain doesn't work. I'm sorry. Um, but the first birthday thing that I want to show you came from... Uh, Holy Hormones, Andrea on Ravelry. Uh, she saw my uh, post in the birthday thread of the random acts of kindness group. Um, and uh, Andrea, where, where, where do you get these wonderful things, these wonderful cards from? If you make them, let me know because I love them. She sent me this card for my birthday. And it's showing up white and really washed out, but it's really pink. And it's a, it's a old fashioned spinning wheel. Then she got a label and put happy birthday in there and a sweet little note. But yeah, I just, when I opened this, I was just like, <gasps> because it, it's, Andrea, it's honestly the most beautiful card I have ever gotten or that I've even seen for that matter. Maybe other people wouldn't think so, but maybe I do because I'm a knitter, but oh my gosh. I have to hold it up again. I'm sorry. Look at that. Oh 
beautiful. Thank you so much, Andrea. That just made my birthday special. Um, and the next one comes from uh, Dandil, which is, uh, I'm sorry, if I'm not pronouncing that right, but uh, is Katie on Ravelry. Um, she also, in the Random Acts of Kindness uh, thread, she also sent me something for my birthday um, with this sweet little card that has yarn balls on it, and it says, so much yarn, so little time. It's very sweet. Uh, and these two right here are from, because one of my wishes was to try some uh, new to me indie dyed yarns and some Madeline Tosh for my birthday. Um, so these two, first two right here, she gave me two minis a piece and aren't they adorable? And it's coming off as a sheen because I've never, I haven't taken them out of the bag or anything. Um, but these two are from an indie dyer in Pennsylvania. Then these two are uh, Malabrigo Tosh Merino Light. Maybe not Merino Light, but uh, let me look at the note real quick. Hold on. Oh, isn't that cool? Hi! Uh, it's Madeline Tosh. Yeah, Tosh Merino Light is a gray. Whoops, I'm on the wrong side. It's a gray, and then that's just a regular Tosh. And look at those colors, and I know that they're not going to come out right because they're still in the bag. Whenever I finally decide to stop marveling at their beauty and take them out, then I'll show you guys. And what I'm going to save these for, and yes, I have reached in the bag and I was stroking them and petting them and all oh, the, the Madeline Tosh is so incredibly soft and so is the other in the dyed yarn, but this gray Madeline Tosh over here, oh, to die for, I'm definitely going to have to get some. Now I can see why everybody's crazy about it. Um, but yeah, I've just been marveling at their beauty and their cuteness. I mean, look at all these little bitty, what, uh, what, uh, Sue, knit 24 on Instagram and, uh, Periscope. Uh, she calls them skinny minis because <laughs> they're like mini minis. <laughs> but I'm eventually going to start a Cozy Memories blanket because I have a ton of sock yarn. Uh, so I'm saving those for that. Uh, and speaking of Periscope, I actually do have a Periscope, and it's under the same username. I'm a Knitting Ninja. No. No, it's, uh, Nifty, Knit Nifty Knitting Ninja over on Periscope. If you'd like to follow me, come check me out. I don't scope very often. I was going to try to do one this morning. It depends on how I feel after I get done talking to you guys. Um, but yeah, come check me out, and, uh, also... Yeah. Oh, there's a lot. You'll have to see go into my followers to see who I follow because, uh, yeah, there's a lot of great periscoping out there. Sue does a periscope every morning. She's not doing it until Monday this week, though, because she's on holiday. She's on vacation. She wanted to sound fancy and call it holiday, but uh, she does it every day, every morning. So it's nice to get to wake up with her when I'm not going to work and uh, get to have some knitting time in the morning, knitting chat time. But anyways, I have chattered on enough um, and my throat's starting to get really scratchy and as you can tell, it's probably gotten really groggly and low. Um, so I'm going to go take my vitamins, keep my fluids up. Um, and try to break my fever and try to feel better. Um, so, oh, 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 one more thing before I leave. And I hate, I always hate ending my podcast on a bad note. And I always hate being a Debbie Downer. Um, but earlier I was talking about Socks Therapist. How she had a aggressive form of breast cancer. It's apparently puzzling the doctors and they don't know how to treat her. 
they're trying different methods, but they really don't know for her form of cancer. Um, and like I said, that touches my heart because lately I've had a lot of heartbreak from cancer. Um, both of my great grandparents on my mom's side died of cancer. And it was very traumatic. Um, I've never known some of my great grandparents on my dad's side, but I heard that they had a very traumatic death, dying of cancer. Um, and I was very close to my great grandmother, so when she died, it it still affects me, and it's it's really tough to believe that such an aggressive disease can take somebody in such a short time. Um, but lately, it was a couple episodes back, like anywhere from 15 to 18, I think, where I showed you the humongous um, comfort blanket that I was making for my friend's dad. Uh, he received it, and I think he received it in July, and he loved it. He got a lot of use out of it, so I'm very happy that he enjoyed it. Um, but uh, unfortunately, this last Sunday, uh, my friend's dad passed away. The cancer finally consumed him and he passed away. Um, everybody knew that it was coming, so they kind of got to say their goodbyes. So it's, um, I think people are more at peace with it than if he just suddenly went. I mean, it's still hard, but you know what I'm saying. Um, but what's really horrible is his dad, my friend's dad that passed away, his dad, which was my friend's grandpa, um, had a traumatic accident and a head injury and uh, they pulled life support. They pulled the plug on him yesterday so my friend's dad and grandpa ended up uh, passing away 48 hours from each other and it's very traumatic. My heart really breaks for my family, uh, for their family and um, I just want to try to be there and lift them up in prayer and give them what they need because I can't even imagine losing one person's hard enough but losing a second in such a short time is unbelievable and um, so if you would just, I'm not going to say names, but if you would just please keep them in your prayers then I'm sure that they would really appreciate it. Um, and like I said, I hate ending my podcast on a sad note, on a bad note, but um, I'm starting to feel really kind of lightheaded. My head really hurts, so I'm going to let you guys go for this week. Hopefully whenever I film next week, which I'm really trying to do every week for you guys. I'm trying to get a podcast out there. But hopefully whenever I film next week, I will be feeling a lot better. And, um, yeah. I'm sorry I was so chatty in this episode, but I'm going to let everybody go. Thank you for spending your time with me. Thank you for coming and watching. Please head on over to the group and join us because we are having a fun knit along there. Um, and I'll see you again next week. Have a great week. Happy knitting. And I'll see you sometime. Bye.